Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Now it's been a really really long time since we made a dessert on the show and we're gonna do just that today. Recently I showed you guys how to make some mascarpone cheese at home and we're gonna use that in today's recipe. You guessed it right, we're gonna be making a keto tiramisu. Yup, the dessert to end all other desserts. Also, if you've noticed, I've got a cool Game of Thrones t-shirt on and if you didn't know, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. In fact, I caught on a little late to the series and I just finished watching all six seasons and I'm waiting for the seventh one eagerly. And the guys at Red Wolf, the ones who make the Headbangers Kitchen merch, they've got some killer Game of Thrones merch, so check that out. I'll leave you a link in the description box below. Anyway, winter is coming and so is that Keto Tiramisu. Let's go and make it. So I gotta give full credit for this recipe to my wife Dipti who made this about a year ago for New Year's Eve for me because I was on keto and she knows how much I love tiramisu. So she figured out how to make it keto style and well here I am today showing you guys how to make the keto tiramisu. Let's go and make it. Now we're gonna start this recipe by making our keto microwave mug bread. Now if you haven't watched that episode go and watch it right now. The only thing you will do differently is add some sweetener and some vanilla essence to it. Otherwise, the same recipe, make it twice because we will need two of those mug breads. Cut them up into eight slices and that's all we're going to need from that recipe. Now, on to the tiramisu itself. Now we make the soaking liquid for our almond bread and we're using 60 ml of espresso, 30 ml of whiskey, you can use vodka as well, no problem. 30 ml of fresh cream or whipping cream will also do. Give that all a good mix and you've got a delicious Baileys like soaking liquid which we're going to use in the tiramisu as well and also for soaking the almond bread of course. Then we're going to set aside about 50 ml of that liquid for the tiramisu and keep this all aside for now let's move on to the next step. We're going to whisk one egg white till it reaches stiff peaks and basically this is going to give a lovely air to the tiramisu, a lightness to it. Then we're going to whip the egg yolk with some stevia or whatever sweetener you like to use, use anything that suits your palate. Whip it till the egg becomes a pale yellow and then add in your mascarpone cheese. And you want to whip, whip, whip all of that till you get a nice smooth consistency. Add in that 50 ml of soaking liquid that we reserved and blend some more. And you will have a lovely delicious smooth creamy paste like thing, well filling actually. Then the final step is to add in the egg white in two batches and fold it in gently. You want to retain all that airiness from it. And your tiramisu cream part is also ready. Now it's time to assemble. Now we're going to soak the almond bread in that soaking liquid and then put it in individual sort of dishes for the tiramisu. You can also make this in one large dish, no problem. I just prefer individual servings, I think it's a lot easier to handle. Once you're done with that, we're going to add in that tiramisu cream that we made and just put that on top and we're done with this. We're going to put it in the fridge to chill for a few hours. And the last and final step is once our tiramisu is nice and chilled, we're going to dust the top with cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. Yep, that's it and your tiramisu is ready to be had. And that's it, the tiramisu is ready and that looks delicious. Alright guys, it's time to taste this tiramisu. This is probably my favorite dessert in the whole wide world. Let's dig in. Get some of that bread. Ooh. All right. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Mm. You, you guys are gonna like this. 
for me this is perfect it's not too sweet it's got that lovely kick of the whiskey the coffee and the creaminess and that mascarpone filling and the cocoa powder just like finishes it off perfectly so for me this is a winner i hope you guys are going to try making this at home let me know how it turns out upload photos to instagram hashtag headbangers kitchen and i will see you guys on the next episode of headbangers kitchen that's a lot of headbangers kitchen being said anyway see you guys soon cheers and keep cooking